In 2017, the Government of Kenya introduced CBC. Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development was tasked to conceive, design and deliver a curriculum system that fits all in the society. All, including the learners with disabilities. First, if you look at the mission of CBC, yes. it's saying that uh, we must aspire to nurture every learner's potential. Yes. Seven years down the line, it's evident that CBC, the education system that replaced 844, is immensely more beneficial to learners with disability than 844 was. To a learner with disability, CBC is a blessing. It is a welcome ray of hope to those whom the society has isolated for decades, if not centuries. While teething challenges are still evident in CBC implementation, it is arguably notable that CBC positively impacts an SNE learner much better than 844 would have. Do you think the SNE learner benefits more through CBC than 844? Yes, it is true. Yes. The SNE learner benefits more yes. because if you look at the way uh, CBC is designed, yes. is that there's a lot of flexibility yes. and that's why you find that there are learners yes. Yes. But now in CBC we have structured it yes. that they'll be assessed even up to the national level and yes. they'll be assessed by the Kenya National Examination Council. Yes. And they'll be able to get certificates yes. and also exit school and go to tertiary training and the world of work. With permission from our chief principal, Nakuru High School and Ministry of Education, we went to two CBC schools to find out the truth of the matter. And we found wonderful news. To an SNE learner, CBC is better than 844 system, by far. At Menengai Integrated Primary School in Nakuru, Kenya, learners with disabilities learn together with regular learners, in the same environment, same class. We visit them to see and experience how CBC has helped both. Grade 5B, Angelica Mbone, is teaching maths activities. In class is Baraka Ayuma, a totally visually impaired beautiful girl and five others with low vision. Teacher Angelica tells us that the low vision learners sit at the front while Baraka can sit anywhere in class as long as she can hear. Baraka sits with Kezia. Baraka is loved by all in class and she loves learning. Kezia, unapena nini kusu Baraka? Mienendo zake, tabia zake, na... We indirectly sought to establish whether core competencies of basic education have been achieved, whether there is communication, collaboration, imagination, and learning to learn. Baraka's friends and classmates laid it bare a beautiful story of a friendship baked in CBC. I normally teach mathematics and physical health education. For which classes? Grade 5, 4 and 6. Yeah. So you're familiar with CBC? I'm familiar with it. Now, between CBC and 844, which one is better for the VI? CBC is better as compared to 844 because CBC is more of practical. Meaning, these learners are able to do. They are able to manipulate things using their fine motor, their hands. No one is left out. In CBC, learning takes place concurrently. In 844, teacher Angelica would be struggling to have two lessons in one, like teaching two classrooms at the same time. But in CBC, in integrated schools, teaching is seamless and effortless. We discovered something something sweet. Baraka is loved in class, truly loved. How we wish this could be extended to her future when she will be working somewhere. Beautiful Baraka may not see, but she can do a lot. At home, because of CBC, she is an asset. Baraka, CBC? Nafunza 
kama wananisomea kuandika kazi kumaliza kazi kusonga mbele na unisaidia ticha ticha kisema hivi unisaidia but are these the benefits of normal learning or are they the unique fruits of CBC in SNE Jacinta Njeri a student from Ngala Special School for the Deaf tells us a story about her two siblings one in 844 and one in CBC system a world of a difference now my brother i want to tell you a story about my brother and my sister my sister is in junior school and she does a lot of activities when she's at home like uh, digging washing clothes and even sewing clothes but the brother doesn't do anything it's just sitting watching tv and telling stories with friends at ngala special school for the deaf it's lesson time english lesson grade 6 teacher sami terer is teaching correlative conjunctions in 844 that's a form 3 lesson in one minute we are able to see communication collaboration critical thinking creativity and imagination as they discuss in their own beautiful language we see a wonderful creation and then we see cbc in action it appears here that cbc belongs to the sne community the cbc curriculum is a, a very good curriculum because it links all other subjects and it makes the learners hands on the learners can link what they do at home and what they learn in school even the parents are also involved and this has given us Kevin Karori a grade 6 ever jovial student at Ngala School for the Deaf embraces the beauty of CBC Grade 6 CBC mm, it's very good we learn a lot it's the best and it's very easy At home it has helped me I've worked I work a lot for example washing utensils cleaning the windows mm -hmm. making the bed and everything and also growing crops different types of crops carrots cabbage vegetables teacher faith ombima a pp2 teacher at gala school for the deaf tells us the beauty of cbc for a disabled learner it's games time as we played with them we learned a lot and when they went for their supper they shared it with us a lovely meal a meal shared with love and uh, i love cbc it is very good and i just thank god for bringing this into the system i say this because uh, it has helped uh, teachers to be able to identify uh, various uh, talents that our learners had uh, if we compare this with uh, 844 you find that during that time you were not able to identify the different talents or abilities a learner had what is so unique about cbc in relation to an sne learn okay cbc is so unique in that it has a lot of activities and also it's learner centered as teachers service commission continues to equip teachers with knowledge and skills necessary to handle learners with disabilities we learn a beautiful secret teachers are getting better every day how a teacher taught grade 1 6 years ago is different from how the same teacher is handling another grade one now what are the unique areas that cbc captures mm. better than 844 mm. when it comes to a special needs learning yeah the way the curriculum has been organized yeah. is that uh, we have the age based curriculum yeah. and the stage based curriculum so there are learners with special needs who are following the age based curriculum they are able to proceed from early years education to middle school education up to senior school and they're able to exit to tertiary and as well as senior school there's uh, what we call pathways so the specialization so they're able to choose which area they can perform better yeah. which areas they where they have talent
Yeah. The same with learners who are following the stage-based curriculum. Yes. They are able to join at foundation level, move to intermediate level, pre-vocational level, and then vocational level. Again, they are able to do uh, to learn skills that they are able to do without being coerced to learn things that their their, their brains cannot be able to to, do. Uh, to take. Yes. So um, everybody is transiting and be able to leave basic education, move to training, and even the one long one. So th that's a good provision for us, and even in terms of assessment. CBC, because of its practical nature, is a tool in itself to the teacher. It retools the teacher daily. With time, an SNE teacher feels confident and enthusiastic when teaching the school. As the government prepares to roll out CBC in senior secondary school, how prepared are these institutions? Isaac Cairo, chairperson for Embrace Disability Kenya, reveals the actual truth about CBC in SNE. Actually, CBC is career-based, not exam-based or, uh, or uh, skill-based. If CBC has to be discontinued, and then we adapt the 844 system, uh, it will come with very many challenges. Mm -hmm. The challenges will be on uh, the special need learners because special need learners <coughs> have already adapted and moved on with actually uh, CBC and SNE is the same. Is actually, it is actually integral to each other. They cannot be able to leave each other. CPC was actually borrowed from SNE schools. Its form and structure of implementation is what goes on in everyday SNE schools. That for you to implement CPC in a better way, you need to borrow notes from special schools. For a teacher to teach one plus one in a regular school, he needs knowledge of how to do the same to a special needs learner. CPC is practical. So is special needs education. In essence, CPC cannot exist without input from SNE. Indeed, CBC is a gift from special needs schools to the Republic of Kenya. However, there are challenges. One key challenge is adaptation of activities, both in content delivery and evaluation. What about children with special needs? And I want to assure you that uh, my attention is going to shift there. It is going to be very expensive because even as I speak to you now, there are certain uh, exams that we are about to have in the old system and we have had to pay special attention for example to people with the uh, challenges with, with the eyes the government acknowledges the challenges faced by special needs learners and is in top gear addressing the same in july 2021 julius juan the then education ps stated that CBC development has brought on board curriculum implementers who themselves are persons with disabilities. They believe nothing for us without us. As we wrap our day with Isaac Cairo, we learn a key lesson. If CBC is abolished and 844 reintroduced, an SNE learner will suffer the most, especially our dear Baraka, who is in an integrated school. As we bid goodbye to the two schools, we smiled and wished we would have stayed longer. We will miss them dearly, but we will go back soon.